Today is the biggest mystery surrounding the most notorious member of the Republican freshman class, George Santos of New York, is not actually what is his deal? Of course, that is a really fascinating question. But the more important one is, where did all the money come from? Remember, this is a man who appears to have lied about almost his entire resume. He claimed that he worked at the investment bank's Citigroup and Goldman Sachs, that he graduated from New York University and Baruch College. At one point, claimed he went to prep school Horace Mann. None of that is true. And for much of his adult life, George Santos seems to have been under pretty significant financial strain. He's faced eviction twice, once in 2015, when his Queens landlord filed suit, accusing Santos of owing $2,250 in unpaid rent. Again in 2017, when the landlord of his rent-stabilized apartment accused him of owing more than $10,000 in rent stretching over five months. Now, there's obviously zero shame in that. Uh, people have a hard time paying rent in New York. And Santos, by his own reporting, made a salary of $55,000 in 2019. And New York is an expensive place to live. But the weird part is that then, boom, all of a sudden, he reported making a salary of $750,000, earning between $1 and $5 million in dividends in both 2021 and 2022. This is all allegedly from his own company called the DeVolder Organization. George Santos then lent his congressional campaign more than $700,000. That's at least according to FEC filings. Now, he has never given any particularly persuasive or convincing account of how he made all this money. I mean, if a friend of yours showed up and they're like, I just got a new job that pays me a million a year, you'd be like, what? what's the job? Oh, well, you know, this and that. There are new facts coming to light about one job we know, though, that George Santos really did have. This one's confirmed. And that was at a Florida-based investment company called Harbor City Capital Corp. In July of 2020, Santos, who went by George DeVolder at the time, joined Harbor City as their New York regional director, where he, according to the press release, would work primarily with domestic and international family offices, institutional investors, and high net worth clientele. In a recently unsurfaced video from 2020, Santos bragged about the unbelievable returns 